recorded the version of that particular tweet I just read, I was kind of confused. I wasn't sure what was going on regarding that Air New Zealand. So later on, okay, right now it's 11.41 a.m., several hours since I uh, first recorded it, I came across this tweet that I guess one of the squad retweeted and now I understand where that thing came from. So there's a part in the book, Harry's book, Spare where Harry was trying to book uh, Megan's father from Mexico to come to the UK for the wedding. So one of the things that Harry mentioned, I don't even remember if I heard that in the book, but uh, a couple of times I fell asleep. So um, Harry and Megan were trying to book uh, Megan's father to come to the UK and they mentioned the Air New Zealand. So now remember, during that time, it was 2018, not now, okay? So several times before the wedding started. So from my understanding, around 2018, so Air New Zealand was in business. It was doing those round or whatever. I don't travel international, so I do not know. So that's my understanding of it as of now. So in the book, when Harry mentioned Air New Zealand, so now in New Zealand, I guess trying to throw shade at Harry saying this, this is the tweet that Air New Zealand said. And this is why I was confused. I didn't know where anything came from. Okay. Introducing Sussex class. There's the crown apparently coming soon. Okay. So they think 
they're missing the timing because heavy had said it was around 20, uh, 2018 so i don't know if air new zealand is still in business so now i'm gonna read some of the comments under that and then plug it in with my earlier recording luckily i didn't edit it yet so i could do that okay you're pathetic i'll never take one on your flight in my life i hope others will follow lying and jumping on the hate wagon who is advising you absolutely disgraceful okay uh, what a disgusting and unprofessional behavior from an airline. Did you think people don't have receipt? Okay, at air, okay, fly in New Zealand. What a shame. All right, so there's receipt from 2018. Okay, like I was saying, from 2018. Megan Marco News, Doria Wagner, spotted at LA International Airport royal i'm telling you the squad they have received from 2018 the picture emerged on monday at 5 p.m okay 9 a.m local time with miss wagland standing in the check-in area for an air new zealand flight all right so the squad have received okay why did you just take the free advertisement now we are coming out and you sound ridiculous oh my god okay you don't fly los angeles and san diego anyone living in rosario is going to fly out of san francisco okay san what's n and sometimes out of lax if the fares are better you know this the british media knows this too so sad to see you jumping on board their abuse for some attention okay jump too quickly into that hate train now we know the airline has no integrity and no one should be flying you uh see it's disgusting all right so there's more receipt here original flight existed until 2019 oh my god the squad are coming with receipt so there's this here let me see that okay he swore that he never staged any photos that he hadn't taken part in any such charade that he didn't know the pap in question meg whispered to me i believe him in that case that's from the book uh we told him leave mexico right now a whole new level of harassment is about to rain down on you so come to britain now okay we'll arrange for an apartment where you can hold up safely until your flight air new zealand first class booked and paid for by meg okay we will immediately send a car with uh, private security to pick him up he said he had things to do now meg's face changed something was up she turned to me again and sighed he's lying okay oh my goodness the history of air new zealand's london route oh my god <laughs> the squad or something they bring something from oh my god december 2020 all right australia out on air new zealand jet on tarmac at sydney airport on 30 may 1996 uh afr picture by phil okay in october 2019 air new zealand surprised people when it announced it was pulling out of london its sole remaining european destination the airline had flown to london for decades but in the end it came down to hard cold economics less than seven percent of travelers okay um in the end air new zealand couldn't compete on the london flight that left Air New Zealand with its original service to London via Los Angeles. <laughs> he highlighted those flight numbers had become uh, New Zealand 001, New Zealand 002, and 1990. Other than a service to Frankfurt that also went via the United States between 1987 and 2001, London was the extent of Air New Zealand European uh, footprint over the years. Okay, the arrival of the 747 to 400 saw so Air New Zealand's London service morph into the Auckland Los Angeles London service that remained intact until earlier this year. Over the years, the frequencies improved. It ramped up from the initial twice weekly service to a daily service. Oh my goodness. So they stopped doing it. I guess they weren't making money, obviously. Okay, how disrespectful. You should delete this tweet and stop uh, getting involved in big people's business. <laughs> and big people's business. The squad are putting receipt. I see how New Zealand was able to export vile lying con artists under guise of journalists. LOL, a state-owned company from a colony lying for its colonizer. LOL, free yourself from slavery and focus on getting sovereignty in your country. Oh my goodness, I read that already. So they're putting, they're retweeting that. Okay, before jumping on the 
Harry and Meghan hate train and embarrassing yourself, you should have done the basic check your record for LAX LHR booking for Mr. Marco in May 2018. Probably the same flight book uh, for Miss Wagland by her daughter. Anyway, folks don't, okay, at Air New Zealand. Okay, considering how Harry has promoted New Zealand via travelists recently, what, uh, huh, that's a very good point. I completely forgot that. Yes. Yeah, considering how Harry has promoted New Zealand via travelists recently, what an own goal. I guess Invictus can skip over New Zealand for venue. Oh my God, this is true. This is true. This is true. Let me see. There's one comment. This is one of the best comment here. Yep, no use and ever flying these people again. That is true. Harry has promoted. Oh my God, how could I forget? This is the best response among what I've read so far okay there's this i was there angry to have booked with you next month wish i could get a refund so and disappointing okay you're disgusting and disappointing what a shame tarnishing your reputation like this for the racist royal family and the toxic british media shame on you oh uh, why is it in new zealand okay prince harry was telling the truth all right uh spare prince harry prince okay this one okay for a minute i thought i want to be able to say january the uh 2023 okay and difference of prince harry's air new zealand bumble uh as the airline throws sussex class shade oh my god they're already writing about it okay so we all get a bit excited when new zealand get mentioned on the way okay so that's the thing i think i read earlier on my recording so i was a little bit confused i wasn't sure what was going on so now i understand okay just another one of Harold's many lies busted. Nah, it's not busted because around that time, this is, it was happening. Let's see here. 25, I was just about to stop. 25 comments. Okay. All easy debunked. They're gonna lose business because of this, as this is not a good look for such an established and commercial carrier. Why have you tarnished your reputation with this lie by throwing in the footsteps of British tabloid? Okay. Let's see here. Harold and Marco are one of the most disliked couple in the world nah 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 the book is you i guess you could go buy the book and burn it if you think so i uh, because the book is making record i think an airline would be fine okay is it isn't this already gone let's see nope they were flying lax lhr the first leg from mexico will have occurred under the star uh, alliance with united people often mistaken mistake business premiere with first class Okay, I realize most people want to know these things, but uh, flight New Zealand, social media workers should, management and air, you'll talk to them. Okay, uh, pathetic liars, uh, how much were you pay uh, by the palace? Okay, there's uh, Doria flying from that, all right, the pudding receipt. Okay, this is so good of you. Yikes, you descended to this cheap level of publicity. Cancel. Okay, the billies. Uh, is what the book reference and you were in operation from LA to London until 2020 That's the thing from back then. Maybe right now. It's not in business But Harry make was making reference before his wedding when all the commotion Harry Megan's father was and you know all the nonsense that was going on in 2018 so People can't wrap their head around that. Oh my god. What is wrong with people? All right, so there's this I read that already one airline I know to avoid. You guys are disgusting, sick liars. You should have read his book, or better yet, check your previous route before you post this tweet. My goodness, you did fly the route that he referenced until you discontinue it during the p pandemic. It is a route that family used several times. I say I expect better, but I didn't. All right, be more professional than this. Stay out of this family drama. That's for sure. All those other prominent people, I see uh, Charles was talking to, there was, uh, when was that, uh, the king of Spain. I, I did mention in one of my videos, I was like, you better stay away from this mess because we know what your dad did. So you don't want to revamp the nonsense that you guys already have. I don't follow the Sp uh, Spanish royal, but I know some stuff about them already. So stay out of this. Just stay out. Focus on your little girl who's, you know, pretty good at speeches. I've seen some of her uh, doing speeches. Focus on that. Don't get on 
uh, Charles Mess. Okay, don't get in, uh, in their mess. Okay, be more professional than this. They are the family drama. You could have taken a different flight path and flown higher above the Megan and Harry hate fill runaway, <laughs> but you didn't. That's weird for a professional international public facing company. All you had to do was check the fact. Shame on you. Uh, uh, just mind your own business. Don't get into this. Don't get into this unless if you're promoting Harry or something. Like one of the tweets I just read here where Harry is promoting travelers and all of that. I don't know how they're going to get uh, a better face for after doing this because a lot of people are supporting Harry and Meghan. Okay, shame on you. Uh, joining the bandwagon, you think she doesn't have receipt. Hopefully, no one will fly with you again. Oh my lord. Okay, why jump on the hate train? Uh, we all know what he means and so do you. Okay hairliner bootlickers making fun of themselves when receipts are easily available what a missed opportunity to advertise your airline now one airline i know i will avoid there it is all right so there's more comment now i understand now i understand now let's go back to the original uh tweet okay let's while i'm recording let's add this all right well i guess somebody has to ask the tough questions lol so i saw this let's see what it's all about that's from gb news okay if you weren't conspiring with the palace then how did you come across that story that none of your business <laughs> because as journalists we protect our sources okay uh let's see here it's two minutes and 53 56 seconds let's but look see. let me cross to joanna jaju now i believe joanna you're still backing Harry and Meghan, despite them spewing this bile about their, their family. How can you justify what they've done, Joanna? Well, so far, I've listened to the audiobook. I don't see anything that besides, I think, uh, Camilla hit two under the bus, which is true. Everybody could see it. But uh, the royal family, I think Harry is, I don't know. He's still keeping his mouth shut. I think there's a lot of damaging thing that could have been said, but he didn't say them. Let's well, I think that it's important for Harry to put his account out there um, for history's sake, you know. When we look at, for example, Diana and um, her interview and the involvement that she had when somebody was writing a book about her, when we look back at that now, because Diana has sadly passed away, we look at that with a lot more compassion. And now, obviously, we look at that in uh, with a lot more context and nobody is refuting a lot of the things that Diana had said. But because this is, you know, modern day and we've got social media, media and everybody's so emotive about it and also it's clickbait and it sells papers people think that it's correct to treat harry differently to how we treated diana but actually all he's doing is putting his story out there after years and years and years of Wh why is this woman shaking her head isn't this harry's story everybody else is including her writing stories about harry but harry cannot write story about himself that's his experience my goodness, I think everybody should watch the Colbert Report um, late show, all right? Because he really went into a great perspective and why he had to write the book. My goodness. And I think this young lady is correct. People need to get his side. Everybody else is writing nonsense left and right about him. Why can't he tell his truth? Let's see. The well, press and Joanna, I, I'm sorry, I have to say, Diana, a, a figure who I was uh, very fond of and hugely respectful for, uh, she didn't slag off every single blood relative, every single member of the royal family. Well, that's just too bad. Harry is telling everybody what he experienced. You're not Harry. You don't know what he went through. But two pictures of nonsense you guys intruding into his personal life, we got to see a glimpse of the misery that you guys put him to. She had gripes largely about Charles, uh, but this is a whole different kettle of fish. Do you understand that for Charles, this might be a red line now? The fact that Harry has come for the woman who he loves more than anyone. But that's the woman who's trashing him, sending him under the bus. So he had to call it out. And we see it. And they're coming after his wife who've done absolutely nothing. They can never pinpoint what did Megan do. So Harry had to tell his truth. The world needs to know. Oh my God, these people are blacking something in their brain. Okay. Listen, 
Oh. I don't think it matters whether Harry slagged off one person from the royal family or five of them. The point is, they both had a story of their account of what was happening to them behind closed doors. And they both publicly had very public and famous interviews. And you can't look at what Diana did as any different to what Harry has done just because... What about... Oh, Charles! The most damaging charge that is made in relation to your marriage is that you were, because of your relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles, from the beginning, persistently unfaithful to your wife and thus caused the breakdown. What is your, your response to that persistent uh, criticism? Uh, that's the persistent criticism, is it? Well, I... And the trouble is, you see, that these things, again, as I was saying earlier, are so personal. It's, it's difficult to know quite how to, you know, to talk about these things in, in front of everybody. And obviously, I don't think many people would want to. But I mean, all I can say is that the, the, there's been so much um, speculation, feeding on every other kind of speculation, that you know, it all becomes bigger and bigger. I mean, all I can say is... Um, that uh, I mean, there is no truth in 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 so much of this speculation. And uh, um, Mrs. Parker Bowles is a great friend of mine. I have a large number of friends. I'm terribly lucky to have so many friends who I think are wonderful and uh, make the whole difference to my life, which would become intolerable otherwise. Oh, Charles! Charles have done that too! Oh, Charles! The way. What about all of the lies in this book? What lies? Because oh, you, you say, know. oh, we should trust it, it's history. But there's so many lies. What's the lie? That's your opinion that they're lies, though, Dan. And how would you well, no, know whether they're Thank lies you. or not? Well, I'll because tell you how. how. I'll tell you how. You? Because he writes specifically about me and the Megxit story, and he has completely lied by saying that I was working with the palace, conspiring with the <laughs> palace to... Did you say yourself the things are coming from the palace? Much of the negativity towards the couple is coming from within the royal family. The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. Didn't you say it yourself? <laughs> Let me put it right now. This guy is ridiculous. Break that story. And that is a point blank <laughs> lie. So I okay, know so there are lies in that book. You, because there's one you, about me. If you That's how I know. If you weren't conspiring with the palace, then how did you come across that story? You Thank none you. None of your <laughs> business. None of your business. Well, because exactly. as journalists, well, we protect our us, sources. On my other channel, I did a video regarding journalism. It's a small little research I put together, and um, I think I spoke about sources. One of the things, I don't know about in the UK, but in the US, uh, there's a clause within the journalism community, uh, field, not community, within the journalism field, that they are not obligated to reveal their sources. So one of the things that I realized with the UK is that if they have the same sort of clause, part of their rules and regulation, they've abused this particular clause where they could make up as they wish and then they claim it's from a source, okay? So this is the thing that uh, Dan Wooten uh, is saying. None of your business, well, because actually, as journalists, well, we protect our us, sources. How it's none of our business. It is our business to at least know if you are truthful, depend on the circumstances, you know, you're supposed to do a thorough investigation on whatever you are reporting so people could make up their own mind. But these people are literally shaping your decision and then claim it's a source when majority of the time they make it up themselves. And he himself has said some of his information came from directly from the palace. The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. He have said it. 
all right so go on my other channel i did a video i think i call it journalism within uh, oh i think i put a fishbowl and the inside okay journalism within the fishbowl world of lies so check it out i'll put the link in the description all right check it out can you possibly say that it's a lie if you can't because Jen, a i will go to jail to protect a source and angela i'm sure you would do the same for your sources we don't have to reveal who our sources are but it doesn't mean that the people they're talking as if harry was never on the other side harry wasn't there he grew up in this institution he no other thing were you yourself have said all the lies are coming from the palace the royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press Okay, so what lies? This is ridiculous. The source was the palace. Oh my God. Okay, let me read some of the comments. Okay, now, why did they end the clip there? It was just getting juicy. I know, there's a laugh. It was. Okay, the British media and the royal family are on top of the UK parliament and all over the world. Status quo. There is a game between the left and the right wings. Invisible contract is a large yet the whole UK are focusing on destroying Harry and Meghan. Knopf is a master of Prince William is a bully. It's not okay. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, Piers Morgan claims royal family have reached out to thank him for attacking on Meghan. You heard from anyone in the palace thanking you for the, you know, serious defense of them? I've had some messages uh, communicated to me on behalf of several members of the royal family. Upper level I'm very people. grateful that, well, I'm not going to go into who it was, um, but what I would say is gratitude that somebody was standing up for them. Morgan say he wants to sit down for an interview with Duchess Marco so he could put some difficult question to her. I would like to know who that royal was. I would like to know who that royal was. Messages uh, communicated to me on behalf of several members of the royal family. Upper level. I'm very people. grateful that. Well, I'm not going to go into who it was. Uh, I would like to know who that royal was. Well, I'm not going to go into who it was. Uh, I want to know when was that conversation? I think that I needs to, to be provided. What that needs to be provided. I would like to know who that royal was. Oh, God. All right, let's see that's Dr. Zanier. Let's not forget the connection between Dan Wooten and Jason Knopf, former communication secretary for William and Kate, and now CEO of the Struggle Foundation. <laughs> Okay, struggle foundation. Wall of graduates. This is the wall of graduates. It lists the qualification detail of uh, everyone who has graduated from Victoria University, Wellington from 1998 onward. The, the wall of graduates. It lists the qualification details of graduates from Victoria University of Wellington from 1998 to the present prior to 1998. The names of graduates were recorded in the Victoria University of Wellington calendar. Graduates can request that their name is removed from the wall of graduates. Okay, that's Jason Knopf and that's um, Dan Wooten. Oh my goodness, the squad have received. Okay, occupied Democrats breaking Prince Harry shred Fox News honor Rupert Murdoch for being, quote, just to the right of the Taliban's, end quote, his wanton discretion of objective facts and for doing more collective damage to our sense of reality than any human in history. Retweet if you think that's, that he nailed it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's definitely that. Wow, wow, wow. All right. So little man wouldn't oh there is this there's the thing here he even said the things are coming from the royal family within and his own word telling the world that much of the negativity toward heavy and megan is coming from within the royal family he's not the only one either there it is actually address the fact that much of the negativity <laughs> towards the couple is coming from within the royal family you know whether that thank right you not, well i'll tell you how i'll tell you how because he writes specifically about me and the Megxit story and he has completely lied by saying that I was working with the palace, conspiring with the... The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. You know whether that Thank you! Not, well, I'll tell you how. I'll tell you how. You actually address the fact that much of the negativity <laughs> towards the couple is coming from within the royal family. Not, well, I'll tell you how. I'll tell you how. 
The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. Well, I'll tell you how. I'll tell you how. The royal family and staff of the royal family are the ones that are very often leaking these stories to the press. I'm just scoot on over and let you whack him. Get him again. Get him for me. These people are ridiculous, okay? They can deny it all they like until they blow in the face, but there's been an awful lot of leaking, particularly from Kensington Palace, Robert Jackson, tell Australian Sunrise. But, eh, I don't know. <laughs> they already told on themselves, okay? Yet he says it's a lie when he won't disclose his sources. A said little man by royal decree. Okay, thank you. Meg was apparently a bully. That was the latest vicious campaign they helped orchestrate. It was so shocking, so egregious that even after Meg and I demolished their lie with a 25 page evidence failed report of human resources, I was going to have trouble simply sh shrugging that one off. So that's from Harry's book. Past step back, Willie shook his head. They began talking over each other. We've been down this road a hundred times, they said. You're delusional, Harry, but they were the delusional ones. Mm hmm. He and Megan have receipt. All right. One, the clip ended just when things were getting good. Two, awesome question. Three, if Dan Wooten won't reveal his source, then we don't have to trust that. He's telling the truth. Why should we? <laughs> How can we, frankly? These are the people where he got the story from. There's that. All right. <laughs> Senior palace source, royal insider, palace source, royal aid. <laughs> Okay, one, Diana criticized Camilla. Everyone hated Camilla. Two, Prince Harry criticized Camilla. He is attacking the woman his father loves, which is unforgivable. I wonder whose side Diana would be on. Three, the beauty of anonymous sources is that they can be made up. Mm-hmm, that's the thing. All right, you got him good. And the only thing he could uh, come up with is none of your business. <laughs> Okay, he was about to burst blood vessel when you ask him how did he know Megan and Harry was leaving if it wasn't a leak from the palace. Yeah, good job. If he wasn't giving that story, where did he get it? Who planted it on him? Yep, that's that. Okay, that's the end. I have one more and then that's it. Okay, can someone please educate me? William tries to black Harry from working in Africa because it's his thing. What work has William done in Africa and not just slapping his name on an organization and taking credit for others' work? All right, there's me here. Uh, yep, that's what I said the other day. I didn't know Africa belongs to him. I hope the continent take notice of his imbecile. Okay, they still want to destroy the continent. This is something I tweeted on the 12th. All right, this part here. Side note, Africa doesn't belong to Egghead. Okay, and Kenya... He support the Northern uh, Wrangland Trust, which bring together white-owned ranches holding huge tracts of land ostensibly for wildlife conservation, which according to him is under threat from our population growth. He's staying with a neocolonialism. Is it that the one that uh, someone he used to date? Um, I don't know the full story, but I read somewhere that someone he has connection with who barricade a huge plot of land take those animals bring them into his land and make it seem like it's a zoo and then make people pay to come and see it is that the one okay there's that okay but what does he actually do support sound like slapping his name on other works with all harry and megan's project it's clear they actually do the work on both granola and strategic level there's a lot of detail i agree with you Okay, neocolonialism, by the way. Okay, like any racist and white supremacist, Prince William believes that the only interesting thing in Africa, apart from looting the resources, are the animals. He is only interesting in conserving the wildlife so that him and his racist friend can go enjoy luxurious safari. Okay, he works, that's the thing here. He works Jekka and Kenya, right? I remember him going there saying Africans need to limit their procreation, but that was years ago. He extremely jealous, which we knew, but dang. All right, William thinks that just because he 
beloved Jekka lives in Kenya, that the entire continent belonged to him. Okay, this is the thing I'm aware of. <laughs> All right, well, he said they procreate too much. So there's that. William, an abuser. My goodness. Case of I want what Harry wants, just so he can have it. Although I have everything as the future king, all eyes must be on me. His family did not break the natural selfishness of a child. The air and spare dynamic fed into it. Okay, he is trying to manage the African population, apparently, and staying something wildlife. Okay. Uh, he is trying to, okay, that's the one I just read. He talks about the ivory trade, but does nothing about his family on cachet of ivory pieces. Okay, the total disrespect and colonialist thinking to describe Africa as his thing, just wow. The man is centuries old and a young body. The thing is that uh, he has people to do his damage for him because uh, not too long ago, I think I still have that screenshot somewhere where you know the army was setting fires in some place was it in kenya okay so what was happening there so they're still doing that thing i don't know people need to put their head together and pay attention all right so let me get back to whatever i was doing okay um this is something that i i put on my community board and i now put it on on um how do you call this on Twitter regarding the Megan's wedding dress? I put it on. Let's see how many people likes it. All right, thirteen people so far regarding uh, Megan's wedding dress that's in Windsor. And I was like, hey, she she needs it back. She should take it back because she paid for it. Why should they put that in display and making money off of it when they didn't really? They don't need her. They disrespect her. They did all of this and then they kept the clothes and then. From my understanding, based on what I researched, it says it's being displayed at Windsor or Windsor Castle or something like that. So uh, Megan, she said, let me get my dress back and then do some sort of a tour. Different places, Commonwealth that have a museum for a certain time. We'll put it there so people could go see it. If they make money off of it, make that money go to certain charities. All right. And then once it finished, did its round around the Commonwealth because not everybody have money to travel. Okay. And then put it either in Canada. The reason I said Canada, because she, uh, worked there. Canada treated her very well. Um, she make a lot of money there being on suit and all of that. Or in the United States, her homeland. Okay. That's what I think. Or just put it in your closet until Lily is at the age of marriage and then she could wear it. Or if she wants to wear it. All right. So that's it. Let me finish my editing. For me, it's a, an added member of the family. It's, a, it's, a, it's another, another team player as part of the, the bigger team. And you know, for all of us, all we want to do is be able to carry out um, the right engagements, carry out our work, and try and encourage others and the younger generation to be able to see the, the world in the, in the correct sense, rather than um, perhaps being dis having a, a distorted view.